the clanging cacophony, a water heater upgrade, Odyssey with a safety encore, plumbing concerto, and a touch of silliness, and five random water heater fun facts. The symphony in your basement is getting out of hand, and it's not the Mozart kind. This nine-year-old 40-gallon water heater has served you well, but its rendition of clanging pipes and hissing leaks is more like a heavy metal concert gone wrong. The culprit, a leaky expansion tank and some plumbing choices that would make even Mario wince. Before we embark on this aquatic adventure, let's address the elephant in the room, or rather the flammable gas in the basement. Safety first, folks. Water heaters are like fiery dragons. They provide warmth and comfort, but mess with them the wrong way. And you might end up singing a different tune, like the Smoke Detector Symphony. That's why, for any water heater work, call a qualified plumber. They're the real rock stars in this scenario. Now, on to the good news. After a chat about the situation and a few puns about hot water, the homeowner decided to upgrade to a top-of-the-line A.O. Smith GCR 40 water heater. This beauty is like the Beyonce of water heaters, sleek, efficient, and guaranteed to leave a lasting impression, unlike the questionable plumbing we're about to replace. But before we get to the main event, let's talk about some crucial safety elements because safety is no laughing matter unless you're a plumber dealing with a homeowner who thinks they can DIY this. The sediment tea, drip leg. Think of it as the bouncer of the gas line party. It keeps any uninvited debris or moisture out, ensuring the smooth operation of your water heater. Think of it as the hero nobody sees, but everyone appreciates. Handling gas with caution. This is like playing with fire, literally. Always turn off the gas supply valve before starting any work and never use open flames or sparks near gas lines. If you suspect a leak, don't sniff it. Use soapy water. Bubbles are bad news. And in this case, they don't mean a successful birthday party. If you see bubbles, evacuate the area and call a plumber immediately. They're the bomb disposal squad of the plumbing world. Next, let's talk about proper flu venting. Because nobody wants a smoky situation except maybe a chimney sweep, but even they have their limits. Your water heater uses a 4-inch, 24-gauge flue pipe to vent those nasty exhaust gases outside. Think of it as the exhaust fan for your dragon. It keeps the air clean and prevents dangerous carbon monoxide buildup. Remember, proper installation is key, so consult the manufacturer's instructions and local building codes to avoid any smoky mishaps. The expansion tank. The unsung hero who really needs a catchy nickname. This little guy may not be the star of the show, but it plays a vital role. It's like the safety valve for your water heater, absorbing the pressure created by water expanding as it heats up. Think of it as the pressure relief valve, keeping your water heater from becoming a potential geyser. And trust us, you don't want that kind of show in your basement. Installing an expansion tank. Leave this to the professionals. While understanding its location and function is helpful, a qualified plumber is like the Gandalf of water heaters. They have the knowledge and experience to ensure everything is installed correctly. Now on to the fun part. Well, maybe not for the plumber who had to deal with the previous setup. Replacing those two saddle valves. These things are like the duct tape of the plumbing world. Convenient, but not always the best long-term solution. They can be prone to leaks, so we replace them with quarter-turn ice maker valves. These are like the tuxedo of valves. Stylish, reliable, and perfect for any water heater setup, even if they won't win any awards for best name. And while we're on the topic of water heaters, here are five random fun facts to impress your friends, or at least distract them from the fact that you just learned about saddle valves. One, the first water heater patent was filed in 1889 by a Norwegian engineer. Talk about a hot water invention. Two, the average family of four uses roughly 60 gallons of hot water per day. That's a lot of showers, baths, and dishes. 
Three, water heaters are responsible for about 25% of a home's total energy consumption. So, upgrading to an energy-efficient water heater can significantly reduce your energy bills and your environmental impact. Four, there are two main types of water heaters, tank and tankless. Tank heaters store hot water for immediate use, while tankless heaters heat water on demand, saving energy when not in use. 5. The Romans used a clever system of aqueducts and furnaces to heat bathhouses with flowing hot water. Talk about advanced plumbing for its time. And there you have it. Your water heater symphony is officially off the air, replaced with a smooth, silent performance by the AO Smith GCR40. It's like upgrading from a rusty kazoo to a concert grand piano. A dramatic improvement for your ears and your sanity. Now, before you go off serenading the neighborhood with your newfound love for hot showers, hopefully without any rogue leaks, if you enjoyed this wild ride of plumbing puns and safety reminders, consider smashing that subscribe button, Dasa, like it owes you rent. It's the best way to ensure you don't miss the next episode of How Not to DIY Your Plumbing, where we tackle even more questionable plumbing choices and questionable life decisions. We're not judging, just educating, mostly. Enjoy the rest of the video, and remember, for all your plumbing needs, call a professional. They're the real rock stars, not you, unless you're rocking a sweet pair of overalls and a wrench. And even then, maybe still call a professional. Besides, wouldn't you rather be belting out karaoke hits than battling leaky faucets? Just a thought. <laughs>